you know, uh, Portland, the city, yeah, I'm fond of, but you know, the Trailblazers. <laughs> uh, you know, to be honest, it's really, that kind of went away after the first couple of games, and you know, I'm excited to go back to the summer home, you know, my other home, and uh, see my friends and my family, but I don't really think of it like that. You know, I got friends on the team, but at this point in the playoffs, it's, you know, that kind of goes out the window, and they understand, and, uh, you know, Nate will probably be happy that it's like that. So, uh, you know, right now it's not about the Trailblazers, the team I used to play on, I played on the next two. So uh, it doesn't really matter, man. We're just out here trying to win games and do the best we can. You just feel there's anything to, to prove based off your season this year and what you were not able to do? You know what? I think uh, what I did during the season proved enough and that this team won 54 games. Um, I've been in uh, you know, a great part of this, this team. and. Uh, you know, hey, I don't, I don't have any grudge against them. They had to make choices that they needed to make to make them better. And, you know, I had to make a choice to give me an opportunity. You know, that's all I wanted. That's what I told you. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just wanted the opportunity to come play. And I, I to kind of, you know, continue just to prove myself every game and every day and every practice. So it'll, it'll be an uh, exciting, <laughs> exciting series. How much of this season for you personally what you were able to do? I think people are, people are shocked. So I think if you look at some of the teammates that we've had play, I think you look at Jared Jack's numbers, you look at you know Zach Randolph's numbers, you look at a lot of guys that went away from Portland, uh, and they've been successful in other systems. So um, you know it's just an opportunity that I have here to play. And, um, you know I could, I, I knew I could do good things. You know I know I could do this. I don't think. You know, anybody really says, oh, you're going to shoot 45% from the three-point line and then have a crucial, you know, uh, you know, crucial role on his team, you know, who's third in the West and won 54 games. So uh, I just came out here, wanted an opportunity to play, and, and just took advantage of that every day and just continue to stay humble and just want to continue to help us win. Okay. How do you think they're different without Brandon? Uh, I don't really think they are. I mean, I think you, I mean, of course, you take away an all-star. That's huge, you know. Uh, but other than that, I feel like they're still going to do the same things. Um, they don't have that go-to guy um, in a one-on-one -on -one situation like he is. I mean, he's man, one of those five unstoppable guys, you know, at that help. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough. It's like 24 points to score. So uh, they have plenty of guys to pick it up, man. You look at the bench, even with all their, their injuries, they've got guys that can score. Rudy Fernandez score, Martel score, Nick Batum at 30 this year. You know, LaMarcus can rack it up. Andre at 52. Jerry Bayless at 31. You know, I mean, where you? I mean, it's just amazing the events that they have and continue to have. So, uh, for them, it's just about uh, just continue to play to be played, and, and it's really about the defense event for them and not the offensive. And they're going to get shots. You played against Lamarcus a lot last year in practice. What did you learn with Saki against him? Uh, you just got to make it tough. He's one of the. Good, he's a very good player in the post, and he's going to make it tough for him. He gets. He's going to get at least 20, 25 touches down there. So. You gotta just limit his touches and, and try to do the best you can and rely on it as a team. Finally, Jared's kind of a wild card in this. You know, do you think <laughs> do you think this could be a series where you could really, you know? Bayless or Dudley? Uh, <laughs> both. <laughs> Dudley, yes. Dudley is I don't know if Dudley's a wild card. I think he's shooting like forty seven percent from three. So we know what he's gonna do. You know what? I think everybody on their team is a wild card. My bad. There it is. Shit, relax. <laughs> Well, actually, hey, uh, you know, um, Jared, you know, he's a great player, great talent. Shit, relax, man. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> That's good, though. Uh, you know, he's um, he's a good player. He's, he's great, he's talented, but we got to just limit his touches and make sure we go at him defensively when we uh, get, you know, when he gets on, uh, gets in the game. Any, any special meaning by facing this team? No. No, it's just, uh, to me, it's just another team, you know, and I think it's a tough team, and we got to do the best we can, but we have bigger goals, like I told you about us, we have bigger goals than this, and we got to continue to try and improve and, and get better every day, and, you know, I'm, uh, I'm excited to go and play and, and see the fans and the crowd, but the team, you know, hey, it's, uh, it's business, you know, they made a business decision, and, and I, you know, I came here, and, and, uh, and we're figuring out we're playing them again, so, to be honest, it's really just another team we have to play. The, um... Everybody knew you were a good shooter, but could you envision yourself making 172 three pointers in the season? Uh, I'm mad. I'm not, I didn't make 200. It. I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, I'll be mad. I didn't make 200. I mean, when you work out and you, you bust your butt all summer, you try to do the right things. You know, you want the opportunity to just go out and play. And who knows? You got to dream big, or else you know. I think the biggest problem is not dreaming big enough. You know, so for me, I just knew I wanted to you know, be a elite shooter, and I knew I could do that with just work and the opportunity and the effort and the system and 
here I came and, and here I am now. So. Where, are you willing to give Nash about half your paycheck? Heck no. Does anybody else give me? Uh, <laughs> he gets paid for what he gives us. <laughs> that must, oh, right. must be great though playing. You know what? I'll be honest. I play more with Gore on that. That's right. So, that's right. You know, I got to give half my paycheck to and Gore. He needs it. To, yeah. You know, hey. You know, we have so many. Everybody's extremely unselfish on this team, and I think that's the biggest thing that Steve does. You see, he steals the. Uh, the, this unselfishness to everybody else and so everybody understands when's your time to shoot when's your time to pass hey thank you